Today, when people mention Russian technology, the West often thinks of backwardness and believes the country's golden era of innovation was left behind in military hardware or Soviet-era space achievements. But what they may not know is that Russia has successfully developed something with the potential to transform not only its own energy sector, but also influence future aerospace design. It's called the GTD-110M, the first turbine fully designed and manufactured in Russia. And don't mistake it for just another heavy industrial machine, its capabilities are far more surprising than you'd expect. So why is this turbine so important? How was Russia able to build a machine capable of challenging Western giants like Siemens and GE? Let's find out. To truly understand the significance of the GTD-110M, we need to look at the pressure and difficulties Russia has faced in recent years. For a long time, Russia's energy system appeared stable, but in reality it depended heavily on gas turbines produced by Western technology giants such as Siemens General Electric GE and Alstom. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia lost factories, engineers, and much of the infrastructure needed to produce turbines on its own. The only solution was to import them from Siemens and GE Advanced Technology Reliable Equipment, but at an extremely high cost. Even worse, maintenance required foreign specialists imported parts and long waiting times. Yet these engines were the backbone of power plants across the country, supplying electricity to millions of households and industrial facilities. This dependence became a forced, deeply entrenched relationship that seemed impossible to break. It also meant that this country's energy sector was vulnerable to external shocks and political pressure, and domestic engineers had limited opportunities to independently experiment with advanced turbine technologies, and much of the know-how was effectively outsourced. However, everything changed abruptly after Russia launched its special military operation in Ukraine. A wave of international sanctions cut Moscow off from the global technology supply chain. Western companies left this country's market, making it nearly impossible to purchase, maintain, or replace gas turbines. Within just a few weeks, this country no longer had access to new turbines and even lost repair services for the ones still operating. A power system that had remained stable for decades suddenly faced the risk of collapse. Without foreign equipment and expertise, a large part of the country was at risk of falling into darkness. This crisis wasn't just an economic challenge. It was a direct threat to Russia's energy security. It also highlighted a broader strategic vulnerability in a globalized world. Industrial and technological dependence can translate directly into political leverage. Hundreds of power plants face the risk of shutdown or significant performance losses due to a lack of spare parts and technical support. In this situation, Moscow faced a difficult choice either retreat and accept dependence, or move forward and build its own solution. They chose the second option. Out of this pressure and a strong desire for technological independence, the development of a large domestically produced gas turbine was pushed forward aggressively. The GTD-110M wasn't a strategic preference, it was a necessity for this country to maintain stability and sovereignty in the energy sector. However, developing a turbine is not like assembling a simple machine. A tiny error can cause the entire project to blow up literally. And it did. A prototype exploded during testing in 2017, leading many to believe Russia would never be able to compete with Siemens or GE. But instead of giving up, the engineering team kept refining every detail, running repeated tests, improving materials and designs until the turbine operated smoothly. One of their biggest achievements was creating materials capable of withstanding extremely high temperatures without cracking, while also making the turbine lighter and more compact than its western counterparts, something once thought impossible. Every setback became an opportunity for innovation. Finally, in 2024, the turbine was officially put into operation at the Udarnaya power plant in southern Russia in a ceremony witnessed online by President Vladimir Putin. His remarks captured the moment. The fact that we now have new production facilities and that we are becoming independent and technologically self-reliant, at least in this field, is extremely important. Putin personally presiding over the launch via video conference underscored the strategic importance of this achievement. For Moscow, this wasn't just an engineering milestone, but a symbol of industrial sovereignty and a serious challenge to Western giants. So what exactly makes the GTD-110M so special? Things are about to get even more interesting. At first glance, the GTD-110M looks like a typical industrial gas turbine, but its appearance hides far more than it reveals. It is an engineering milestone shaped under intense pressure, a statement of technological self-reliance, and a machine filled with capabilities that challenge long-standing assumptions about Russian industry. To understand its significance, we need to look more closely at what truly sets it apart. One of the most striking aspects of the Tuabin is its sheer power. 
A single unit can generate enough electricity to support tens of thousands of households or keep major industrial facilities running without interruption. When installed at the Udarnaya power plant, it pushed the station's output from 454 megawatts to 560 megawatts, a remarkable leap that allows one turbine alone to supply around 10% of the electricity needed for a large region such as Krasnodar. Its importance, therefore, lies not only in the amount of power it produces, but in the energy security it brings. Equally surprising is its physical design. Contrary to the usual expectation that greater size equates to greater power, the GTD-110M demonstrates the opposite. Compared to similar Western-built turbines, it is noticeably smaller and lighter. This compactness provides practical advantages, easier transportation, faster installation, and smoother integration into existing power grid infrastructure, all of which translate into significant savings in both time and cost. Yet despite its reduced size, Russian engineers maintain that its performance equals and in certain scenarios surpasses that of its Western rivals. This turbine was engineered not just to run, but to run intelligently. Rostex engineers focused on creating a machine that consumes less fuel while generating more power. This isn't just an economic advantage, it's also an environmental one aligning with the global shift towards sustainable development. It shows that the Russians weren't aiming to build a mere replacement, they were aiming to build something better. This achievement stems from careful engineering advanced material science and deliberate optimization rather than simple replication. In addition for an engine to operate efficiently, it must be able to withstand impact. Rostec's team developed components capable of withstanding extreme temperatures and pressures, allowing the turbine to operate reliably even under harsh conditions. This resilience also reduces the maintenance burden dramatically enhancing long-term stability and operational efficiency. It is not just a machine that was built, it is a machine engineered to endure. But perhaps the most consequential aspect of all is that the turbine is completely Russian-made. Every component from the earliest design sketches to the final assembly is produced domestically. For Moscow, this goes far beyond national pride. It represents a strategic assertion of technological independence and a safeguard against future disruptions in global supply chains. At a time when many are attempting to isolate the country technologically, the GTD-110M stands as evidence that Russia can not only withstand external pressure, but continue to innovate and move forward on its own terms. It has become the new heart of Russian industrial ambition, designed, built, and perfected entirely by its own hands. Although the success of the GTD-110M turbine marks a significant milestone, the road ahead remains full of challenges. Russia still needs to close the technology gap with Western competitors and transform a single standout product into a sustainable large-scale industry. Furthermore, building a large gas turbine ranks among the most demanding engineering tasks not every nation can undertake, and Moscow has paid for this progress with painful setbacks. For instance, during early testing in 2017, one prototype exploded a serious incident that cost millions of dollars and years of development. It was a stark reminder of just how complex this technology is from developing advanced materials capable of withstanding extreme temperatures exceeding 1500 degrees and massive centrifugal forces to achieving absolute millimeter level precision in manufacturing sophisticated blades and cooling systems. Every component must be flawless. But creating one functional turbine is only the beginning. Scaling up mass production is an entirely different battle. Rostec aims to manufacture at least four turbines a year Yet achieving that target requires substantial and continuous investment, not only in basic facilities, but also in high-precision automated machining centers, advanced quality control processes, and most crucially, a highly skilled workforce trained to maintain consistency across every unit. Ensuring these turbines maintain long-term reliability matching or surpassing Western designs that have millions of operating hours adds another layer of pressure and massive cost. More importantly, Moscow's isolation from the global supply chain makes innovation many times more difficult than for other countries. This import substitution effort is an extraordinary undertaking. Now everything must be built domestically from specialized high temperature nickel alloys and protective thermal barrier coatings to complex electronic sensor and control systems that were previously imported. This is both a burden that slows immediate output and a powerful catalyst pushing Russia to expand its research and development R&D efforts and build entirely new foundational supporting industries. The core of this turbine's functional success lies in its hot section. Given the historical Western reliance on advanced manufacturing, Russia had to master directional solidification and single crystal casting techniques domestically. 
These highly specialized processes are crucial for creating turbine blades that possess the optimal microstructure to resist creep and fatigue when exposed to extreme combustion temperatures. Successfully producing these complex components, which require meticulously controlled thermal gradients and specialized high vacuum furnaces, represents a breakthrough perhaps more significant than the engine assembly itself. Without reliable high purity single crystal nickel alloys, the GTD 110M cannot achieve its target efficiency or lifespan making R&D in this material science area a top national priority for long-term power generation independence. Beyond industrial competition, the GTD 110M is fundamentally a matter of national energy security. Historically, major Russian power plants relied on imported turbines, creating a critical vulnerability where maintenance spare parts and technology upgrades were subject to foreign political decisions. The domestic production of the GTD 110M now allows the country to deploy new modern power generation capacity, such as the planned units for the TPP 26 project in Moscow and other crucial infrastructure without foreign oversight. This independence is essential for maintaining a stable and resilient national power grid, especially in strategic regions or remote areas where foreign technology support is impossible. The successful deployment and long-term operation of these units will be monitored closely as the ultimate test of Moscow's ability to fully nationalize its power generation technology base. Nevertheless, these setbacks have not discouraged the country. Instead, they have become valuable lessons learned, driving engineers to refine both the design and the production process. The eventual success of the turbine stands as clear proof of perseverance and the ability to learn through failure. For Russia, the GTD-110M is far more than just an engine. It represents technological self-reliance and signals that the country is capable of mastering highly complex systems without Western assistance. This achievement could even pave the way for Moscow to become an independent global gas turbine supplier, competing directly with giants like GE and Siemens. The economic implications are equally significant. Instead of sending billions of dollars abroad to foreign companies that money now stays within Russia, strengthening domestic industries and creating jobs. More importantly, it helps cultivate a new generation of engineers who can develop technology independently without relying on foreign documentation or components. And if the innovations behind the GTD 110M can be applied to the aviation sector, this country could gain a powerful strategic advantage. The success of a power plant turbine demonstrates the fundamental engineering capability to manage high thermal and mechanical stress, which is the core of modern jet engines. This could enable Moscow to develop a new class of aircraft engines that are competitive in performance and technology. One thing is already clear, this engine has changed the game. It proves that even when forced to stand alone, ingenuity and determination can still lead to major breakthroughs. If a power plant turbine can inspire hope in aviation, it suggests that the future of Russian technology still holds many surprises. Do you think this turbine can genuinely compete with Western designs? And based on this achievement, how would you assess the capabilities of Russian engineers? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you and stay safe.